What's up guys, my name is Andrew Oldar. We're here at Cahuilla Creek MX in Anza, California, and we just got done finishing up our first ride on the all new 2019 Yamaha YZ250F. Beginning with the engine, it's all new from the ground up. It's electric start equipped, it has a different cylinder head with a new valve train and intake camshaft, a higher compression piston, and a larger diameter clutch. Moving on to the suspension, the YZ250F retains the same KYB fork and shock as last year, the same externals, but the internals are what's different, including the cylinder and piston size in the fork being increased from 24 to 25 millimeters, and the structure of the mid-speed valve has been changed to leaf spring from coil spring. Also, the pressure piston shape has been changed and holes have been added. And lastly, the fork has a stiffer spring rate going from 4.6 newton meters to 4.7 on this new model. Moving on to the shock, the shock body sub-tank capacity has been increased by 30 cc's. It also has a new spring with thinner material and less turns. The spring weight has been reduced by 210 grams. And it also has a stiffer spring rate going from 54 to 56 newton meters. And lastly, the oil flow amount has been increased for more controlled damping character. Moving on to the chassis, the YZ250F has a new aluminum frame with revised geometry and engine mounting. Also, the axle collars and fork lugs have increased rigidity. In addition to those chassis changes, the bike also receives thinner radiator shrouds, a thinner fuel tank, and a lower and thinner seat. The final two changes on the 2019 Yamaha YZ250F are that it has wireless-based ECU tuning via the Yamaha Power Tuner app, and it has a two-map switch that can be adjusted on the fly. So beginning with the engine, it's definitely an improvement over the previous model. The previous model had excellent low end and mid range, and the new bike still has that, but Yamaha emphasized, and I definitely felt it on the track, that they really made an effort to make the mid range to top end power better. And that was almost immediately noticeable. When we were doing photos and videos this morning, I was carrying a gear out for longer, whereas on the previous bike, if I were to carry a gear that long, I, it would have just tapered off. So. That was certainly an improvement. I still feel like past the top end, it doesn't quite keep pulling to the over rev like some of the other bikes in the class do. It pulls longer, so I found myself shifting less and it still has excellent uh, low end and mid range. So I'm able to carry a gear high. I can run third gear in, in corners like I could on the old bike. So with the increased top end, definitely better in that area. And overall, the engine certainly an improvement. Suspension-wise, the Yamaha has always been great. The KYB components are phenomenal as far as bump absorption, plushness, and bottoming resistance. And with the new internals, admittedly, not a huge difference in feel for me because the old bike was so good. I think the new bike has maybe more bottoming resistance, a little bit better hold up with the, with the stiffer spring rate front and rear which for me is good. I don't weigh a whole lot, but I am within the 250F weight range. So yeah, as far as comfort goes, still very plush, very, very good in the, in the small chop, as well as the big braking bumps and good progressivity on, on big landings. So the suspension, it was great on the old bike and it's even better on this new 2019 model. Moving on to the chassis, that was one of the biggest things I noticed on this bike. With the radiator shrouds being slimmer and the whole bike just feeling thinner overall, I was definitely pleased with that. It definitely cornered better. I think that had to do with the increased rigidity of the frame and the entire chassis and also the stiffer suspension setup front and rear. I think those all work together to make the bike feel a little bit quicker reacting in the corners. But with that being said, it doesn't necessarily lose that comfort feeling that the previous model had. So I think guys who currently have that model and are looking at potentially getting this, you're not gonna lose that comfort feeling from the chassis and the suspension that you get from the 2014 to 2018 YZ250F. With the cornering being better on the YZ250F, the straight line stability is still phenomenal. I noticed there's one particular jump here where I jumped out pretty far, and then you come into some uh, some braking bumps, it's a little sandier, and the bike, it stayed very stable, and I at no point did I feel like it was gonna step out or do anything funny on me. But overall, very happy with our first day of riding it, and I think it's definitely gonna be a contender in this year's 250F MX shootout.